64 possibilities of codes that we call the human genetic code. Uh, and of these 64 possibilities, it appears that only 20 of these codes are turned on right now for us, the 20 amino acids. Well, what researchers have been able to show us, and this is a, a pretty amazing thing to say, what has been discovered is this, is that there is a switch that turns off and turns on where those coding sites lie, and that the switch uh, for that turning off and turning on is what we call emotion. And this is the first time that we've ever seen the patterns of emotion directly physically linked to human genetic material. Emotion, the long wave, the long red wave of emotion, wherever this wave of emotion touches, where it crosses this double helix, is what determines where the site is that that code will either be turned off or turned on. You and I are primarily capable of only two emotions. Many derivatives of those emotions and two primary emotions, fear and love. Well, fear is a long, slow wave of emotion. So this wave of fear is a long, slow wave and touches relatively few sites on this DNA. So an individual living in fear is limited to the number of antenna that they have available to them. Whereas an individual uh, living in the pattern of love, this is love in DNA. You can see it's, it's a higher frequency, many more potential sites for coding uh, along that genetic pattern. This information, this is amazing. This is the first time we've ever had a hard digital link between emotion and genetics. And what we're saying is this, that the way you interpret and perceive emotion in your lives directly, linear, linearly affects and determines how your body responds genetically. In compassion, in love, you have the opportunity, and it is an opportunity, to uh, encode many more genetic patterns within your body 